Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on WebLogic. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn more details about Node Manager. So what is Node Manager and what are its types? How to use the, how, what is the significance of the Node Manager in the WebLogic? So those are the few points we are going to cover in today's tutorial. So you might have seen just now I just logged to the WebLogic server. Of course, I have started WebLogic server using my console that is command prompt. And then I use the localhost 700 console as my URL and provided the username and password and I reached to this page. So in this page, you can see the various options. This is the home page we say at the left hand side, you will see the domain structure. If you want any help how to do the any activity in the WebLogic console, here is a help help available. On the right hand side, you will see the details. Means if you click any option at the left side, you will see the corresponding option on the right hand side. Of course, in going forward session, we will have the detailed understanding of each and every options in this console. But before that, let's jump back to the our node manager topic. So we know that the node manager is important to start the managed server particularly in the real time environment so node manager comes with the two flavors the first is called as a java based node, ma node manager and the other is called as a script based node manager java based node manager runs within a java virtual machine means it is a part of the jvm so we know that jvm that is java virtual machine is dependent on the operating system however the java language it's the platform independent because Java language runs on the JVM. So what are the Java base? What are the written in the Java? That is the node manager which runs on the JVM. So Java based node manager actually work on the Java technology. We have the other option called as a script based node manager, which is particularly in the Unix environment. It will be helpful to just run through the script instead of running on the console mode. So these are the two flavors we have for the node manager. One is a Java based and second is a script based. Particularly for the script based, script based does not have as much security because the Java based Java comes with the security. We know that, but the script based, it don't have the security. Either we have to write the security logic, but, or we can use the secure shell SSH, which will achieve the security of your program. So these are the two important thing, things. First, script based node manager don't come with the security. We have to handle the security code or we can use a secure shell to write the no script based node manager. We don't have to do any custom thing here. The web logic do for us. Node manager configuration. Node manager must run on each computer that hosts WebLogic server instances that we want to control with node manager. So that we know that in previous session we saw for each machine we have the node manager. That is what we have stated here. We should configure each computer as a machine in WebLogic server and assign each server instance to be controlled by the node manager to the machine it runs on. How to configure? During the installation of the WebLogic server, we create the what are the admin server, what are the managed server, do we have the, any node corresponding to that, do we have the machine associated with that. So those are the configuration we do that during the installation or the configuration of any server. So that is what we are talking here. Node manager should run as an operating system service so that it automatically restarts upon system failure or reboot. So this is the there are two ways either we can configure as a service on operating system like suppose you have the windows system we can configure as a windows service or if it is unix operating system we can configure unix operating system service for the starting the node manager what does it means if your system starts your node manager will start again the other option is we don't have to do the or we don't have to configure node manager as a service we can keep as a standalone. Whenever we want to start it, we can start by running the commands manually. Node manager default behavior. After web logic installation, node manager is ready to run if the node manager and admin server are on the same machine. That is default behavior. Means whenever we install the web logic server, 
node manager is ready to run provided node, ma node manager and admin server resides in same machine by default the admin console can use the node manager to start the manage server so that means we can use the admin console to start manage server but internally it calls the node manager node manager monitors the manage server that it started the automatic restart of the manage server is enabled so this is the by default behavior for the node manager and the corresponding manage server configuring java based node manager so now we are talking about the java based not script based bea recommends configuring node manager to run as an operating system service so this is a just recommendation if you follow it is well and good if we don't follow it, nothing goes wrong we can handle manually Configuring the task for the Java based node manager includes reconfiguring startup service for the Windows installation, demonizing the node manager for the Unix system, configuring Java based node manager security, reviewing the node manager dot properties, configuring node manager on multiple machines. So these are the activities will be involved if you are using the Java based node manager. Reconfiguring startup service for the Windows installation. So very first we have to delete the service using uninstall node manager service dot cmd so this will come with your node manager why we have to do if it the service is already registered we have to unregister it then we have to edit install node manager service dot cmd to specify node manager listener address and the port once we are done we have to run the install node manager service dot command cmd to reinstall node manager as a service which will listen on the given address and the port now how to configure the security for the java based node manager node manager security relies on one way ssl connection we know the ssl is a security related protocol which helps to communicate secure communication between the client and server weblogic server uses the nm connect command to establish a connection to the java node manager so this is the command nm connect we don't have to worry about that this is the internal command will be used by the web logic the nm command nm connect command requires a username and password which is verified against the nm underscore password dot properties file so this is again one of the property file will be available during the installation so how to configure the node manager so in your weblogic console we will see the security option and in the security option you will see the security interoperability mode credential confirm credentials node manager username node manager password node manager password confirmation so these are the options you will see so let's try to see these options in our already started server so let's go let me click any of the manage server we'll go to the security there is no security configured yet one second let me go back on the my servers admin server So these are the security roles policies. I will uh, I will give you details in uh, upcoming sessions how to use those change those securities for the node manager. But you can see inside the settings actually you will see the daisy word here. What you will see it's a domain name. So let me click on that. Probably there I can see the node manager details. This is default realm and inside it should be general realm administrator identity so actually somewhere here let me double check okay so here are the details that's true so it is on the domain level you can see the credentials confirm credential node manager username here is a web logic node manager password and node manager password confirm of course if you want to change it you have to just make sure whatever we have 
you can just type here suppose I want to change this password change it and there is a save option at the top you have to save it this is development environment you don't have to take acquired lock but if it is production or UAT environment you will see that there is one button acquired lock you have to edit the changes and then activate the changes like the two phase commit will be there so this is the details about the security configuring for the uh, java node remote server start security for the java based node manager credential for the managed server and administration server are handled differently Manage servers when we invoke node managers to start manage server it gets the remote username and password for the admin server so it actually it uses a rmi port to start the manage server for that for admin server when we invoke node managers to start as an admin server the remote start username comes from either the command line or from the boot properties file because it is local property for that admin server now reviewing the node manager dot properties we can specify properties for the java based node managers pro processor either at the command line or in the node manager properties values applied on the command line take precedence over those present in the node manager this is very important because if you are starting the node manager using command line you have the privilege to pass the co command line argument and those will override the what are the argument which are present in the properties file node manager properties file to configure the node manager to use the start keep script in the node manager dot properties file first we have to set the start start script enable property to true also we have to set the start script name property to the name of the script so that that script will be get called configuring node manager on multiple machines this is important because real time you will not have the single machines we will be how to deal with the multiple machine in your environment for example production have the four machines to run your application on multiple servers so that you have the better uh, usage of your application so in such case you will be dealing with the multiple machines how to configure the node manager node manager has to be installed and configured on each machine on which there is a managed server this is very first requirement on each machine there will be one node manager we can do this with the weblogic nm enroll command to copy all required domain and configuration information from one machine to other so the command like command will be nm enroll domain directory and node manager home like this so this is like scripting command this command download the following files from the admin server the nm underscore password dot property which contains the encrypted username and password that is used for the server authentication this file normally get encrypted when you, you first time access your weblogic server serialize system ini dot dat file it also contains this file so there will be two files will be downloaded first is nm password dot properties and this serialize system in it or in a any dot dat file configuring script based node manager so we saw for now the java based node manager now we are going to see script based node manager the secure shell script that is ssh node manager is a shell script the name is wls control dot sh located in node manager home common bin an executable ssh client must reside on each machine wherever where node manager or node manager client runs an ssh client is typically a standard part of the unix or the linux installation so when you install weblogic on unix system this script will be automatically created configuration tasks for a script based node, ma node manager include using ssl with a script based node manager creating node manager user configuring script based node manager security because we know that by default script a script based node, ma node manager don't come with the security so we have to configure using ssl with the script based node manager for the security script based node manager communicates with the admin server and manage server using one way ssl the default weblogic installation include demo demonstration identity and the trust key store that allows SSL to be used out of box 
so either you can buy the license uh, available free on the internet or you can buy the license from the particular vendor also normally people prefer to buy from the vendor particularly for the secure organization to configure SSL for the production environment identity and the trust must be obtained for the node manager the admin server and all managed server for secure access to this uh, servers creating node manager user before running node manager user this is one of the requirement for the script based node manager before running the node manager we should create a dedicated unix user account for performing node manager function of course you can use a root user also but it is good to create a separate account for that we should add this user to all machine that will host ssh node manager and to all machine that will host a node manager client including the admin server now how to configure security for node manager node manager ssh shell script relies on ssh user based security to provide secure trust relationship between users on different machines so it is shell script won't come with its own security it is the ssh shell script we have to rely on that authentication is not required we create a unix user account typically one per domain for running the node manager commands and script this is the normal behavior we create one user account a user logged in this user can issue node manager commands without providing username and password so for every time we don't have to pass the username password it, it will be that user unix user will have that access to execute additional configuration information other node manager configuration tasks include configuring the machine to user node manager configuring the node manager dot domains file configuring remote startup argument ensuring that admin server address is defined setting the node manager environment variable so these are the sub tasks involved configuring a machine to use node manager weblogic machine resource maps machine with the server instance it hosts here we can see the listener address port so this is the actually machine on which it is listening so let me see that let me show you so on the left hand side you can see the domain structure and there will be machines and in the machine this is the name of machine and you can see the configuration uh, let me show you the node manager so these are the node manager we can see the type is SSL listener address this is my local system so I have the local address normally it is the actual real server name will be there listener port is 5556 of course you can customize this port also if you want to enable the node manager or the machine on the machine with a debug mode you can enable this debug enable so we have that option too Configuring the node manager dot domains file the node manager dot domain file specifies the domains that a node manager instance controls. when user issues a command for domain node manager looks up the domain directory for this file this file also provides additional security by restricting node manager client access to the domain listed in this file so where can I see that configuring the remote startup argument so let me show you that it should be inside server start let me go to the server start so either you can go to the admin server you can see the admin server and we have the server start or uh, let me go to the managed server any managed server doesn't matter it has the server start so let me first show you the admin server server start what are the details we have in the server start you will see what is java home we want to use for this server admin server what is java vendor be home root directory you can specify the class path if you want to referring any external java files if you want to pass any runtime environment variables you can pass as argument we have the security policy file username password and the confirm password so these are the details on the admin server 
let's go back and check on the manage server on manage server we can see the server startup have the exact similar option as like admin server and you can specify as per your environment so these are the details we have captured here ensuring admin server address is defined you must define a listener address for each admin server that will connect to the node manager and where can i see of course we can see inside each server you can go on the admin server or manage server select any server let me select admin server and at the configuration general tab you will see the listener port so this my admin server currently listening the on 7001 port with the node manager if you have the security enable ssl enable then you can see that you can enable this checkbox and that will be port will be the 002 but for this you need the security certificate to be installed on your machine so that uh, you you can access the application with https that is secured way now the listener address right now you can see I configured the listener port but I have not configured the listener address so we, we need to configure that listener address so that the node manager will be able to identify node manager configurations and log file so this is just brief view whatever we have seen so far we have the node manager we have the server 1 server 2 for node manager node manager configuration files are node manager dot properties nm underscore data dot properties node manager dot domains nm underscore password dot properties which maintain the credential details for the server one we have the boot dot properties starter dot properties same will be applicable to the server two along with that the server state files server underscore one lck that is log file server underscore one dot pid process id server underscore one dot state like running or stopped etc maintain the state server log files are server underscore out and the same will be applicable for the server 2 node manager maintain its logs in its own log node manager dot log so these are the files and configuration available for the node manager as well as for the server i hope this tutorial will help you to understand the node manager in detail if you have any questions or queries about the web logic can mention in the comment section of this video thank you for watching my video and have a nice time